hello guys and welcome back again to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to share with you how i achieved this beautiful baby fruit so if it's what you're interested in just keep watching without wasting the time let's get right into the video now i have two pieces of clothes folded into two here as one is going to serve as the back piece the other the front piece and the length of this these pieces of glue you see here the length is 18 wide the width is 10 so i'm just going to impute the child's measurements and right at the top there i mark half of the child's um shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement is 9 inches so half of it is 4.5 and i use that same 4.5 as the baby's arm hole so that's what you see me marking out here I'm marking out the armhole line after that I'm coming down by two inches that is a kind of up shoulder so I'm taking going down by two inches the next thing is i'm going to divide um, um the baby's chest measurement her chest circumference is 21 so i'm marking it down after dividing by four i marked it down and then added two inches allowance to it that's what you see me mark out there so from the neck line was serving as our neck i'm coming in by one inch and i'm going to now connect to the armhole down at the hem i'm coming up by one inch because i don't want those sharp edges there so i'm going to curve it in so that it will be a kind of curvy at the down part now after doing that, I'm simply going to connect straight down from the chest to the hem of the dress. Now it's not a fitted dress, that's why there's no need for the other measurement. I'm not cutting out the piece that is going to serve as the, our base for this clothes. And I have the front and back piece, pieces rather. So right here, because um the first layer i'm going to i have three um layers on this fork the first layer is going to cut across the armhole that's what you see me doing on the first layer of the baby fork i'm cutting out the armhole after which i will gather it before attaching to the base of the, the cloth Now here are the remaining layers apart from the one I cut out the armhole. These are the remaining two layers and the two, there are, there are four pieces here. Two for the middle layer, that's front and back and two for the last layer front and back. That's why you see me have four pieces here. Now the length of the pieces here is 8 inches while the width is 36 inches. And we're just going to gather all the pieces. But before I gather, gather it, I'm going to attach a bias tape to it just so I can pop out the color, the beauty of the cloth. Now I'll finish um, turning the hem with a bias tape. So that it can contrast with the color and make it more beautiful now what i'm going to do is to gather each pieces before attaching it to the base i'm just simply taking note of how much gathers i'm going to make that's why i first measured the upper part of the base so i just simply confirmed that the 
the glass is the same as is the same inches as where i'm going to place it so now i'm going to attach it and i'm going to show directly i'm not turning because i'm going to use the bias tape at the top of the dress as well Now I'm done attaching the first layer, what I'm going to do next is to measure from the under the first layer, I'm going to measure down um, 5 inches, then attach the next, that's the second layer, I'm going to attach to, to it, we are marking down the 5 inches, you know, you really need to confirm that the upper piece is going to cover the next one that you are fixing under it, that's just what I'm trying to do here, and I'm going to repeat the same process on the last part that's the third layer okay guys here is the final result of the dress i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye